for that baby out there in that great Norwegian sweater right back there, or for Maria sitting right over here. Hi, Maria. Wave to everyone. I think that we need to be able to have a plan, not just words about where we are going. And folks, I have a plan to make sure that all of our schools have what they need, that they have the equitable, stable, growing school revenue that they need into the future. That is a new Minnesota miracle. It will lower your property taxes as well, because too much of the burden recently has been put on all of you to be funding those schools. But it needs something else as well. It needs something added to it. It needs a way to fund a system of early childhood education all across the state. And as governor, I'm going to provide the leadership to do that. Because our future is in making sure that young little baby and that Maria have the best opportunity that we can provide them. And then they can come to places just like this where the tuition is not the second most expensive in the entire country as it is today, and students are graduating from public higher education with the debt of a house on their back. And what does that mean for all of us? It means that they don't buy the house next to us or the farm next to us, that they are often moving out of state instead or going to higher education out of the state. If you are going to have a governor who lives up to the values of having a great education, a great educated workforce, then you need a governor with a plan, and I have a plan to do it with you. I want to thank you for your attention today.